Hi everyone, it's Jane at Velocity Vet 08 and this is my finished design team project um, for Saw Crafters um, for the Christmas ornament photo album. Um, I do want to say before I ever get started, I embellished this to no end and it became very thick because of it. And not only did I embellish it, but I put a layer of what's called wood icing on these and so they ended up being um, I can't tell you how much thicker than normal. So I had to use a giant ring on mine, but I just wanted to let you know that Saw does sell the ones that normally fit these, and as long as you don't go crazy um, with them like I did, <laughs> they'll fit just fine. The rings that she sells, let me show you what she sells, and they're very big and they're very adequate. Um, they fit this just fine normally. Um, she sells these right here that are this big. And this is a really good size. They're two and a quarter inch rings. And they usually hold this just fine. But um, I, um, I really went crazy with how I decked them out. So it got them looking pretty big. So I didn't have much choice but to add a giant ring. I kind of hate that I had to just because I prefer her brass. Her brass rings are so beautiful and this is not quite as pretty but it's very hard to find one um, this size. So I think I have a glue string on there. It makes me crazy when I see a glue string. I have to get it off. I think I need, I think I need tweezers. I think it's that serious. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> I um, these are awesome. I absolutely love these these ornaments and these. First off, a couple things. You don't even have to put them together on a ring. These would make great individual ornaments for your tree. Um, so you could have five individual ornaments. They're super bargain. They're three dollars and ninety nine cents. So you could have um, five individual um, ornaments for three ninety nine. That's less than a dollar a piece, and they are super fun to embellish. They all have a different shape inside: um, hearts, ovals, squares, rectangles. I mean, they're all different, and I'll show you that as I go through here. Um, at that price, one of the things that I've been talking about in my process videos, and I know not everybody watches them, um, you know, just from a time standpoint, but, you know, these are something that, like, if you're crafting and you're trying to keep your kids busy, add this to your cart when you're checking out with Saw for $3.99 and give your each one, a kid each one to play with, and they can make their own ornament for the tree. I mean, loads of fun for not a lot of money. So these, I mean, use your imagination with them. You can go a long way, that's for sure. So I used a lot of Saw's embellishments on the, these, and it made it loads of fun, but it also made them really thick. I um, There's five of them. You get five total. And I'll talk to you a little bit about the series of pictures that are in here in just a minute after I kind of show you what I did. Um, I put what's called wood icing on top of each one. It's um, a product sold by stencilgirlproducts.com. Um, it makes a really neat wood texture. You can put texture in there and it, it just really adds a neat dimension to you can just kind of see. I mean it really adds a really cool dimension. These are made out of MDF wood. Um, but I, I love using the wood icing. I, um, my other one that I did, I used wood icing in it. I just love the effect of it. So I added that first on the front of each and then just let it dry. And then I had to sand it to knock it down. So it's, it's kind of a lot of extra work to do, but it's worth it to me. It takes stains really well. So I sprayed it or sprays really well. I sprayed it with um, Cosmic Shimmers. I sprayed it with Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and um, got these beautiful teal and blue colors that are just, I think, just gorgeous. Um, and then I added some Icicle Stickles 
um, to them to give just a little bit of a glittery effect to each one and just let that dry on there and I, I just I thought that they turned out just I really liked the way the wood looked it looked pretty cool um, and then I just basically started working on my embellishments and getting I basically I call them my elements and getting them all ready um, this little stacking or this little um, mitten is one of Saw's new uh, Christmas items and they are just so stinking cute they just come as a piece of wood in the shape of a mitten and I used um, flocking on it and used some turquoise and some white flocking and some glue and just made it look like a cute little mitten that matched this and then this is one of her candy canes she's come out with the candy canes now as well and they're just so cute too and I I did um, some I used my um, embossing pen you know like ink essentials pen and I just made stripes and then embossed white and then in between I um, embossed a teal color and then I put a little bit of teal um, like turquoise stickles on the teal part um, I know these aren't traditional candy cane colors but I was kind of staying with this whole blue white wintery cool kind of feel um, this is a button from the collection and then I just tied a little jute bow to it the way that I did the back of these is that I used um, a piece of paper made a circle out of it from the bow bunny um, oh, what is the name of the collection I have to go look here real quick. It's a good collection. It's a good winter collection. Oh, you know what? I cut all the ends off of it. I don't know the name of it. It's um, but it's made by Bow Bunny, and it's a like a wintry um, collection that's all blues and whites and teals, and it's very very pretty. Um, so I use that on the back of each piece, and there's also like this this different look of it as well too. So I use two different sheets, and um, so that's what I did on the back and then I just like real um, uh, kind of I guess sloppily is the way to say it just went over it like with white paint around the edge and around the edges and I, I let the white paint also get on the front in places I wanted it to just look kind of snowy and wintry and um, and I then I used a little teal paint and then I used um, one of these, I use this um, Prima little edger that's cold ice color and I used it also just to kind of blend in with the teal and um, the white and just I just like said wanted this real um, wintery touch to it so I really I love the way that turned out it's just I think it was pretty neat. Um, on this one I used um, one of her cameras from her store. I need to make sure I stay back here where I'm in camera. Um, this is one of her cameras and I just put like a great big piece of bling in the middle of it and I um, used, I sprayed it with some Lindy Stamp Gang sprays a couple times to get a nice rich color and then I used my 3D crystal um, lacquer but I used it in turquoise and um, covered that and gave it a nice shine and I love the finish on it. Um, this is a little tiny foundation flower and, and it's dipped in beauty in my melting pot and then I put a button on it with um, some just kind of um, a turquoise kind of thread um, and then up here I put True Love. Um, this is one of um, Saw's pieces as well. She just sells, you get like, I don't know, I want to say like a dozen of these hearts in a package and um, each one has a different sentiment on it and they're just so cute and they all have a hole right here so you can tie them to something if you want like you know add it to like a present and just have it be like an extra little tag hanging on your gift which would be super cute um, but if you don't want to use it and you aren't using it in that manner you can just put a gem there which is what I did um, to cover the hole and then I put some stickles in crystal around it and um, the blue on here is um, the steel blue Inca gold and then this is a little uh, sweetheart flower and I um, curled the stem up and I dipped it in UD and put um, some glitter on it while it was still hot so that's what how that this particular page was done 
And then same with the back, just did my same painting treatment. Um, this is um, the, the round shape. As you can see, each one has a different shape. This one was an oval, the first one was a heart. On this one, the round one, I kind of saw it as being almost like a little bit of a wreath. And so I had this um, bow and I embossed it with um, Stamp Pendus White and also with the glitter that comes with that um, in the little kit that you can buy because I have the little kit. And so I embossed it and then I had this little snowflake and these were in my stash. All of this was actually. And I um, embossed it as well and I just used multiple colors actually to get the shading. Um, some Ranger, some uh, Lindy Stamp Gang, but I just, you know, kind of used these various colors. And then while it was hot, I sprinkled some glitter on it as well. Actually, I didn't. The way that got glittery is from um, Stickles. It's the Icicle Stickles. And then I embossed um, this bell with two different colors um, using that pen. Again, I used a teal and then like a, a platinum up here. And then this is a flower that I dipped in UD as well. So that's how that page got done. Um, this one right here, um, this is a snowflake from um, Saw's collection of snowflakes. They're so, so pretty. And I did the same thing. I used a variety of colors on here and then um, with the embossing and then I put stickles on it um, with the icicle stickles and I put one of my um, flowers I had dipped in UD on there. You can see why this got so thick. Between the wood icing, um, things like this um, uh, snowflake and then on top of that this rose. This is hugely thick from how it was made. Um, and then here, this was a little um, little banner piece from the collection and had a little deer on it. And I really liked it because it tied in the color of that, that paper in the back. And I put a piece of jute on here. And, you know, my husband, he likes the deer. And then um, this is another one of those little foundation flowers with a little gem. And then this page, I love this one. Um, I made a little banner that says family. And you can buy these little letters at Saw Store. And I've been talking about these a lot in the process videos. They are, you, you can't buy them as an alphabet. And I've had people tell me they wish they could buy them just like as a whole, you know, alphabet and just get the whole thing at once. But there's not, there really truly isn't a good way to do that because you're always going to need, like, first, okay, think of it this way. If you bought it as an alphabet, you would still need to have extra A's, extra E's. You might be somebody who needs extra S's or extra D's or L's, different things. So you're, you're probably going to run short at some point very quickly on a letter that you, need, you use a lot of. And then you're going to have a lot of leftover letters and you will have paid a higher price to get that big grouping of letters. So the way Saw does it, and it makes sense to me, she sells them by the letter, and that way you buy the letters that you need, and they aren't very expensive by the letter at all. And and if you start kind of collecting them, I mean, you get like 10 or so of each one. Well, that's a lot, and that's going to last you a long time. And if you start collecting them, you'll eventually have most of the letters that you use. For instance, the first ones I bought spelled out love. And so I had those four letters. And then the next time I decided I wanted to spell out family. Well, I didn't need the L because I already had that. Then I decided the next time I wanted to spell out Tupelo. Well, then I already had the L and I already had the E. So, you know, it starts adding up and you have them, you know, like all the letters that you are going to be using the most often. So it actually is a pretty smart way to buy them. And, um, and I like it. So... I put some um, some pan pastel blue on these, and then I put um, a turquoise um, the of my 3D crystal lacquer on here, and I just love it. It just says family, and then to make it look like a little banner, I just put little jute bows at each end, and then I put this little dove I had in my stash, and then of course this is another flower that I had dipped in UD.
So that's how the last one was done. And now I'm going to explain the photos to you, which are just silly, fun, fun, fun to me. Um, I, we really had fun doing this. This was the first time we played with the timer with this camera. Um, we had another camera that we had been playing with the timer on some other pictures, but and we still have that camera, but this is my camera. He has a camera and I have one. We have separate cameras, you know, separate. Uh, <laughs> we're just that way. Anyway, so the pictures start out with a Christmas tree, okay? And this is sitting in my living room. This is our Christmas tree. And it's up. It's up. This is what it looks like. And then we decided we were going to take a picture in front of the tree. So this is me trying to get the dog and him and the picture goes off. Okay, so not much. You can't even tell what's going on there. Here we're trying to turn the dog around. But we're getting closer. But we got the dog just like totally looking at us. So we're not there yet. So here we're still, we got, we're better in the picture. We're doing good. But the dog is still heading in the wrong direction. And then finally, voila! We made it in the timer, and we're all heading the right direction. <laughs> anyway, I just love this. I just think this is super cute, and um, I'm gonna lay this out at Christmas time, and you know, and I think it'll be something I just put out at Christmas, not at any other time. And it's just super fun, and I'm just gonna lay it out like this. I like it just like that. I think it looks really cute. You can see the embellishments, and you see the pretty colors of it, and um, you know, you can kind of see the pattern of the pictures, and it's inviting this way. It makes you kind of invite you to come over and pick it up and look at it. So, anyway, I'm glad I could share this with you, and um, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope it inspires you to throw one of these $3.99 albums in your cart and have fun with it. They have, she has the um, ornament. She has one that are heart shaped and she has one that are just like um, a broke shape. They're really cool. So she has three different choices for you to choose from and they're all a bargain and just loads of fun. So I hope you have a good time with one. Talk to you later. Bye.